Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fishing with Big D. As you can tell, it's uh, pretty tough conditions today. I'm out here on the river. we just coming out of a very, very extreme heat advisory. The uh, heat index was in the upper hundreds. Um, the other day, I believe the heat index was right about 112. Very hot conditions, which has lowered the waters. Uh, especially in the rivers. I got up early this morning to go try them out because normally that's pretty decent fishing when you can get a higher concentration of fish in a smaller body of water. Uh, this is the first rainstorm coming through right now that we've seen in a while and as you can tell it's kind of made the water conditions rough. I'll let you take a look. First we'll look at how low the water is. As you can see the banks here <clears throat> The water has dropped down quite a few feet, uh, so the system is really low right now. We're going to let you see the water though, because of just this little bit of rain. We've got this real bad chocolate milk looking color, but it's a very slow moving, so I'm thinking I might still be able to pull a couple of fish out. We're going to try it. Uh, they say tough conditions is when the big boys come out to play, so let's get into it. Stay with me, see if we can catch something big. All right guys, when conditions are really tough like this, I'm gonna show you my favorite technique to use that will still normally produce fish for me, guys. So uh, I'll be fishing with my Shimano Stimula. This is a light action rod, light to medium duty. I've got some J style circle hooks for live bait. I'm gonna be using a bobber since the water's not that deep, I'm only gonna have about a foot below my bobber. I've got a split shot here, and I've got a couple of nice little shiners. All right guys, I'm baited up. Like I said, I'm only gonna run my bobber up about a foot. I've nose hooked a couple of nice size shiners, about two to three inch range. Not really looking for small fish, but we'll take whatever bites. We're here to try to catch something big. And all I'm going to do is start out different sections of this river and I'm going to let it float. All right, so I'm out about midways. I chose a really bright bobber. I'm hoping that you'll be able to see that. I'm just going to kind of hide under this tree for some coverage. It's just a heavy rain. I haven't seen any lightning or thunder yet, so I think we're still good. That's, that's really all I have to it, guys. I mean, that's, <clears throat> I'm gonna float this bobber and you can see how slow this water is moving. This is really good conditions in my opinion. Uh, other than the water being so dark, look at that, we're already getting a bite. Something took a swipe at it. Oop, see that bobber taking off. And river conditions are just a little bit different, guys. I like to let the fish take the bait. And I wait just a few minutes, give him time to fully get that bait in his mouth before I set the hook. All right, guys. If, must be something right here because you'll see my bobber as it kind of went really erratic movements left and right like he was trying to get away from something all right guys he's got it under ah oh, we missed him how did we do that oh man i'm gonna get right back out there maybe he'll hit it again 
I don't know if you guys can see, but got my bobber out there, kind of just visualizing the fishing. Oh, look at there, look at there. Oh, we got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, Smolly. That's what we're looking for. Oh, man. It's got me up here in the Oh, no, not a Smolly. Actually, it's a big old red eye. <laughs> Check that out, guys. Lord, what a red eye. A lot of people call them red eye, rock bass. Boy, he wanted that one good. Oh, I have to get my pliers. <clears throat> Once again, I was just floating, doing some searching. Just really paying attention to areas to where, look how big that one is. Areas where my mentor would act like he was frightened or not. <laughs> Boy, that's a, that's a big old rock bass right there, guys. Look at red in his eyes. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Pretty. Let him go. But I just throwing my bobber out. I'm letting it work down. Looking for any signs of a struggle or a fight. Normally that means there's a fish nearby. That minner will start to act up, become very lively. You'll see your bobber run around in different locations. Sometimes you'll even see your minnow jump out the water. All real good signs that you found where a couple are laying. Uh, chances are when there's one like that, there's normally more than one in the same area. So I'm gonna rebait up real quick and throw back out there. All right, I just wanted to show you how I'm baiting my hook here, guys. Got my bobber, it's a little bit deeper over here. So I got about 16 inches out from under it. I've got my drop shot down, I'm just taking the shiner. Hopefully you can see this. And I'm running that hook right through the bottom lip and going up through the top of the nose, like so. That's gonna let that fish live for a little bit longer. And he's gonna be able to swim around freely under my bobber, my float. I don't know if you guys can see it on my camera, but there's some rock coverage all through here that I'm trying to keep my float around because that's where the fish like to hide. They like to hide up under these rocks and ambush their prey as it floats by. I've seen a few swimmers out here. The water's clearing up just a little bit. I'm hoping that we can produce some more better size quality fish but catching any fish on a day like today is a plus in my book. There he goes. Oh, so what we got up? Oh, another rock bass, guys. <laughs> He's right up there against the rocks. I'll let you see him there. Oh, I got that in a little bit deep. I had to try to get that one out or cut it loose, let him go. Nice little rock bass. I'm able to get you the hook set. This one took it and ran. It looks like a smallmouth. Decent one, too. Oh. That's what we're looking for, guys. Oop. Just a quick release there.
<laughs> Check it out. Nice little smiley. Man, he ran, he grabbed that minnow and he hit him hard. <laughs> That's what it's about coming out here. It's tough conditions, very tough. And still being able to produce some fish. Uh, as you can tell, I am drenched. It's not all just rain. It is still like 80 some degrees out here. Massive heat wave that come through Virginia and parts of the East Coast. But you can still use different techniques to still catch fish. And this is one of them, guys. Float fishing with live bait. So let him go.